Hello, from this lecture, we'll start working on our actual project, which is the LM2576 power supply. So this is the data sheet and the circuit diagram of LM2576 power supply. So these are the components that we'll need to create our project. We need capacitor, diode, inductor, and the voltage regulator. But apart from this, we'll also create one resistor and LED, which will connect at the output of this power supply. So let's create one project and inside that project, we'll create our own library and inside that library, we'll create each and every component. So we will create their symbol, their footprint, and we'll assign a 3D model to each and every one of them. So go to Eagle. So this is the folder which we created earlier on the desktop. To create new project, right click new project and give name SMPS power supply and enter. Now inside this project we'll create our own library. So right click new library. So this is the library panel of Hegel. So here you can see we can create symbol in this we can create footprint and we can combine we will connect this footprint to this symbol and we can connect device and we can also assign the 3d model or 3d package to the component the first component which we will create is the resistor so we'll first create the symbol of resistor then we'll create footprint and we'll connect this footprint to this symbol and we'll create a device and we'll assign the 3d model to this so to create a symbol, click on add symbol, give a name and click on OK. It will ask you, do you want to create a new symbol called resistor? Click on yes. And it will take us to the schematic sheet. Now you can see the grid is already on and will not change the grid when we are placing the pins for resistor. Now for resistor, we need two pins. So from this tool, which is a pin, you can click on this. And when you click on this, all the properties related to pin will appear here. So this is the length of pin. To rotate the pin, you can right click. You can change its length. For example, if you want point only, we want short length, we want middle length or do we want long so right now we'll go with short length and I won't want to display anything and from here you can set the direction of pin whether it is input output input output power pin or it's passive right now we will select passive and I will place into the schematic sheet and while placing the pin make sure that this circle is at outside so I will face place first pin I will rotate this second pin and I will place it somewhere here and to inactivate command press escape so these are the pins uh, and remember by placing the pins we never change the grid but when we want to draw body of the resistor we can change the grid so I will change the grid now I will first convert them into mm and I will make it 0.1 mm Now, to draw the body of resistor, here is the tool called as line. Now, all the properties related to line will come here. We'll first change its width. And from here, we'll change its bending angle. We will select it 45. And we'll start drawing the resistor. So, click here. Click. Click, 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 click. So if you made any mistake, press escape, control Z, 
and I can start drawing from here. Click. Click and escape. So this is the symbol of register. I will again change grid to 2.54 mm. To select a complete register, group them. Go to move, right click, move group, place them here. So this is the symbol of register. And see, we have drawn this symbol into layer called as symbols. Now we have to assign something called as attribute to this register. Attribute means the name and the value of register. And these are dynamic. So user can modify them according to they want. So to place attribute for name and values, click on text and you sign greater than. So this is the keyword which tells Eagle that this is the attribute. And to assign name and make, and make sure uh, you type this in capital letters. So to assign name, click name, type name and enter. And don't forget to change the layer. Right now it's in symbol layer. To change the layer, go to he go here and select names. So this attribute will be in the names layer. Click. Now same, assign the value. So escape instead of name, type value. Click on OK and change layer to values. Place it here. Escape, escape. So now symbol is completed and we'll save this symbol along with the library. So save and library will get installed in the project folder only and give name custom lip save. So this is how symbol gets created. Similarly, we'll create its footprint. To create footprint, click on add footprint and give name 0805 underscore press sister and OK and yes. So 0805 is the package which will create for footprint. So this is the layout window and this is the data sheet that will follow for creating the footprint. So this is the package name 0805 and this is the recommended layout pattern now the footprint which we'll create is the smd footprint so this is the length of pad this is the width and this is the distance between two pad and these dimensions are in mm the dimension which are above they are in mm so length of pad which is a is 1.3 mm and width of pad b is 1.15 mm so go to eagle so we'll first place the SMD pin. So from here you can place SMD pin and here is a pad or through hole pin. So to place pin click here. To rotate it right click and first of all I will place it on origin and escape. Double click to see its properties. We'll change its name to 1. We'll change the grid. It's in mil. I will change it to mm. And while creating the symbol for register, we assign it two pins. Now, corresponding to each pin, we have we have to assign pad in its footprint. So let's change its length and width. So length is one point three, one point three. Click, and width is one point one five. So this is the pin of register. Now I will simply copy and paste it and I will paste it here. Automatically its number will get incremented. Now let's find out what, what's the distance between this pad and this pad. So go to data sheet. Now here they have given the distance from this point of pad and this point of pad which is L which is 1.2 mm. 
but what we want we want distance from center of this pad and the center of this pad so how to calculate that so it is equal to the l plus b means 1.2 plus 1.15 which is the 2.35 so go to eagle first i will place this pad on this first pad and i will change grid to 2.35 enter i will select move and i will move this second pad here so now the distance between this pad and this pad will become 2.35 and distance between this point and this point will become 1.2 millimeter now change the grid back to 0.1 mm so these are the two pads corresponding to each pin of register now we have to create its body so to create its outline or its body click on line change the layer to T place I will go with the default width and start drawing the outline of this register so click 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 and escape so this is the outline of register now we have to also assign the attributes in footprints also so click on text greater than capital name okay and change the layer to t names place it escape value okay change layer to t values plus it escape cancel so footprint is created just save it and we'll connect this footprint to our symbol so to do that click here which is called as device so if you click on this it will ask you which device do you want to create so i will create register okay yes and here we have to first place the symbol which we created so click on add part this is a register symbol which we created place it here escape and we have to add the footprint which we just created so click on new add local package and this is the footprint which we created click on ok now we have to connect this pins of a register to these pads of register so pins from symbol to the pads in footprint so click on connect so here you can see pins from the symbol and these are the pads so i will click here and click here and say connect and again say connect and ok and save it so this is how you can create a complete symbol in eagle so i will close this and i will again open the library so symbol we created we created its footprint and by combining this footprint and symbol which we we, we created one device